And then when Alan came on, I hollered, Alan's on. So, you know, you know you're going to get a country song then. He was singing Pop, Papa Top. And boy, when he stopped and and uh, and went into choices, I come plumb up out of my chair. I couldn't believe it. Alan didn't comment on the event, but his friends had plenty to say. I watched that show, and I see Merle Haggard on there with Jewel. And I have nothing against Jewel. I think she's a fine singer. Uh, but she, I think, is the only reason Merle Haggard got on that show. Uh, so I think what George did... I, I applaud him, and I extremely applaud Alan for what he did. I thought it was great. It was a tremendous uh, show of strength on Alan's part, and it was a tremendous tribute to George. And trust me, this man loves Alan Jackson. I thought it was it was a nice gesture on his part, and, and I appreciated it very much. It, it made me feel, it really touched me. I thought, thank God, thank God somebody in this town still has enough to stand up and say this. I thought it was wonderful. I just jumped up out of my seat. I, <laughs> as a lot of other people did, I thought that was the statement of the whole show of the convention week and all. We got a standing ovation for it, and, and I thought it was handled in a very classy way on Alan's part in that he didn't disrupt the show. He didn't take anybody away from anyone else's time. He made his point and left the stage uh, in a very profound way.